Are we getting too much of a good thing? Well, our next guest says yes, that we are overwhelming our bodies with antioxidants. Sean Talbot joins us now to tell us about the dark side of antioxidants. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, tell us the health benefits of antioxidants. Well, you know, antioxidants, you know, are, are vitamins like beta carotene and vitamin C and vitamin E. They protect our bodies from oxidation, from sunlight, from air pollution, from cigarette smoke. And that, that's all good stuff because those free radicals can damage our cells. The problem comes when we start taking too many of these things. And we're just overwhelming our bodies then. And what actually are the negative effects of taking too many of yeah, them? Yeah, well, it's really easy to over supplement yourself with some of these vitamin pills that are out there. And the latest research is showing us if we take too much beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, the list goes on and on. Not only are we not protecting ourselves, but we're actually causing cellular damage because those vitamins are interfering with our body's own protective mechanisms. Really? Because, you know, I always thought if you took too much of a vitamin, it just kind of gets rid of it. That's what we used to think. But that's new, not true. No, these new studies are showing us more heart disease, more cancer, more prostate problems with these things that we think are protecting us. So, you know, the moral of that story really is, you know, if you want your vitamin E, eat an almond. If you want your beta carotene, eat a carrot instead of supplementing with these high dose isolated synthetic vitamins. You know, I'm just looking at some of the props that you bought and I was like, oh my gosh, not only am I taking like a vitamin E pill, I've got almonds today in my lunch. Right. So the almonds are all you need. That's enough to get that vitamin E. That's, it's, it's an essential nutrient. We still need it, but we only need it at that small level, not that big mega dose. I can see how quickly people can do this. Yeah, well, you think a little bit is good. A lot must be better. And what we're finding is that a lot is even worse. Okay. Okay. So what if, okay, I'm starting today. What is the best way for me to start to balance my body? Yeah, the, you know, the level? best way to do it is, you know, our grandmothers knew this, right? Mm. Eat your broccoli, eat your Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts, eat your red onions. What we're finding with the research is that the reason these foods are so healthy is that they're not just antioxidants on their own, but they're turning on the body's ability to make its own antioxidants. All of our cells can protect themselves from the environment around us. We just need to give them the right, the right triggers, really. So foods are effective, but what we're also finding is that spices are even more effective. Okay. Really? So what if people are vitamin junkies? Because there are some people that love taking vitamins for everything. How do we slowly start to wean ourselves off of these vitamins right. and supplement it with the things that we need? Right. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very pro-supplement kind of a person when there's good research. And okay. where the best research is right now is coming from, you know, ideas from traditional Chinese medicine and traditional Indian medicine, what we call Ayurveda. Here's green tea. Here's ashwagandha, milk thistle, turmeric, bacopa. These are all things that have been used for thousands of years to protect the body. Mm -hmm. and and what we're finding now is that the way that this happens is there's a protein inside of our cells called NERF2. That stimulates a, a, an antioxidant effect that's about a million times more effective than any of these vitamin pills ever could be. So this is what we're telling people. If they want to protect themselves optimally, get a blend of all of these kinds of things. Whether, it's, whether you're drinking green tea or you're adding turmeric to your food, that's a great way to do it. And this product, Protandum, is a blend of all of these five. In the research studies, it lowers oxidative stress 40% in 30 days, a, a fantastic effect. Wow. So you're basically saying we could supplement one of these for basically it, this. Th that's exactly okay. it. And it took a lot of research to get to the point where we know that that five-ingredient blend is optimized for the body. But it's, you know, it, that's not going to replace your broccoli. I'm a nutritionist. Okay. I still <laughs> want right. you to eat your good food. <laughs> right. But for people who are exposed to any of those environmental toxins, really, we want to protect ourselves the best we can, and Protanum's a great way to do that. Great. And where can we find this? Well, you can find it online. People can go to protanum.com. They, okay. can, they can, you know, get all the information and see all the science. There's about 20 studies on it right now. Wow. wow. Excellent, Sean. Thank you so much all for right. coming in today and uh, sharing all this excellent knowledge with us. Thanks for having me. And you can get more health tips online at seantalbot.com. Again, that's seantalbot.com. Now, let's get some seasonal grilling tips for summer. Amanda? 